started Iditarod Reads because of COVID. We wanted to do something a little bit different with it this year. Instead of having a title night in the building, we had as many staff members um, as we could read a story and the kids did the videoing and then we put that out live for our families to watch um, at home. The students had to learn how to use a green screen app, how to record, and how to edit. I put the learning in the in the students' hands and they learned things throughout the way of like how to turn the camera because we couldn't get everyone in or recording length or voicing. We put like an image that goes with along with the book so like one of the teachers read a book about potatoes so we put a potato background and um, so we took all those videos and we put them into this Google form and we sent it out to all the students so they can read from home and listen to these books and just enjoy reading. The past few years have done a science specific night for one of our Title I events where we have a science experiment going in lots of different classrooms, teachers run a different experiment in each room, but we couldn't have all the families in the building for that this year. So instead we utilized our migrant ed kids out of our fifth grade classrooms to actually video themselves doing the science experiments as the instructions for an at-home kit. We would have one or two kids in front of the camera doing the experiment and another kid videoing and then multiple kids working together to edit those videos to make them the proper format. They had a lot of fun doing it. You know, they got to put on the, sci the lab coats, they got to put on the goggles, they had the beakers and the vials and the things around them to make it, they, they were feeling like mad scientists. We have these cups and they all have they all are halfway filled with water. And then we put salt, cornstarch, vinegar, and baking soda in it. And then we put a gummy bear in it. And they're supposed to grow. It worked great. We got a lot of responses. They loved seeing their teachers. They thought things were silly and fun. And it just kind of brought school home. What did the clock say when it wanted more food? It wanted seconds.